Learn English easily. The Best Brothers Once upon a time, there were two brothers named Tom and Jack. Tom was 13 years old, and Jack, his younger brother, was 10. It was summer vacation, and they were excited to have some fun at the park. Tom and Jack went to the park, hoping to play with other kids. But when they arrived, they saw that there were only a few children playing. They noticed a group of kids playing soccer and thought it would be fun to join them. However, the soccer game required more players, and they did not have enough. Tom and Jack felt a bit disappointed. They really wanted to play soccer, but they couldn't because there were not enough kids. They decided to come up with a plan to make the most of their day. Let's go to the nearby store and get some ice cream, Tom suggested with a smile. Jack's eyes fill up with excitement. They both loved ice cream, and the thought of having a delicious treat made their disappointment go away. They walked to the ice cream store, their mouths watering at the thought of the creamy, cold dessert. As they entered the shop, they were greeted by the friendly shop owner, named Raj. He had a wide variety of flavors on display. Tom and Jack carefully looked at all the flavors, but they both agreed that vanilla was their favorite. They ordered two scoops of vanilla ice cream each, feeling delighted about their decision. Raj served them their ice cream in colorful cones, making it even more enjoyable. As they sat down to enjoy their ice cream, they noticed a group of kids passing by the store. They looked tired and hot from playing in the park. Curious Tom asked them why they weren't playing anymore. One of the kids explained, we were playing soccer, but we needed more players. It's more fun when there are more of us. Tom's eyes sparkled with an idea. He turned to Jack and whispered, maybe we can invite them to play soccer with us later. Feeling excited, Tom and Jack finished their ice cream quickly and approached the group of kids. They introduced themselves and shared their plan to play soccer later in the day. The other kids were happy with the idea and agreed to join them. With new friends by their sides, Tom and Jack felt a new sense of excitement. They returned to the park, ready to play soccer with their newfound friends. They spent the afternoon running, kicking the ball, and laughing together. While playing, they worked as a team, encouraging each other and enjoying the thrill of the game. It was a day filled with joy, friendship, and teamwork. They were grateful for the ice cream that led them to meet their new friends and have such a fantastic time. As the sun began to set, signaling the end of their soccer match, Tom and Jack felt a sense of success. They not only enjoyed their ice cream, but also made new friends and had an amazing day filled with laughter and fun. With tired but happy smiles on their faces, they said their goodbyes to their new friends and headed home. They couldn't wait to tell their mother, Rebecca, about their adventures at the park, the ice cream store, and the exciting soccer game they played with their wonderful friends. And so, 
The day that started, with a bit of disappointment, turned into a memorable adventure. All because of a simple desire for ice cream. Tom and Jack learned that sometimes, unexpected ways can lead to wonderful experiences and new friendships that make life even sweeter. Chapter 2 Peter and the Pancakes Once upon a time, there was a boy named Peter who lived with his mother. Peter's father had passed away when he was young, and he missed him very much. When his father was alive, he used to make pancakes for Peter every weekend, making good memories that are kept in Peter's mind. After his father's passing, Peter's mother found it hard to make pancakes. The smell of pancakes reminded her of the happy times they had shared as a family, and it was difficult for her to recreate those moments without Peter's father by her side. So, for many years, pancakes were absent from their breakfast table. One sunny morning, Peter woke up to a delightful surprise. As he entered the kitchen, he noticed the sweet smell of freshly made pancakes filling the air. His mother had decided to make pancakes for him, finally bringing the joy back. Peter sat down at the table, eagerly awaiting his delicious breakfast. He took a bite of the fluffy pancake the familiar taste, reminding him of his father's love. It brought a warm smile to his face, and he enjoyed every single bite. He wanted to share the joy of these delicious pancakes with his friends at school. He asked his mother, with love if she could make pancakes, for his friends. At first, Peter's mother said no. She worried that. She wouldn't be able to make the pancakes perfectly, because she made them after so long. But seeing the excitement in Peter's eyes, she understood how important it was to him. Not only did Peter share the pancakes with his friends, but Peter and his mother also decided to start small. They set up a roadside stall near their home, offering their homemade pancakes to the people passing by. People soon discovered the delicious pancakes and couldn't resist their great, sweet smell. Word spread quickly about the delicious pancakes, and their stall became popular in the town. Happy with their success, Peter and his mother took a big step forward. They decided to open their own small breakfast restaurant to serve the yummy pancakes. The restaurant even succeeded, as even more and more people loved to taste Peter and his mother's pancakes. Their unique flavors made them stand out. They were overwhelmed by the love and support from their customers who appreciated the family story behind the pancakes. Together, Peter and his mother created a warm and inviting space where people gathered to enjoy not just pancakes, but also memories and love. The restaurant became a gathering place for the town, reminding everyone that even in the face of loss, new beginnings and happiness could be found. And so, Peter and his mother continued to make their delicious pancakes, spreading joy and bringing people together one pancake at a time. They enjoyed the memory of Peter's father and celebrated the love they shared as a family, all through the simple pleasure of pancakes. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.